Introducing the fighters first fighting out of the blue corner. Coming weighing 58 kilograms with a career record of four fights. One win, one loss, two draws, one win coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introduce it. Mikey And his opponent fighting out of the red corner with a record of the one win out of one fight. That one win coming by way of knockout, weighing at 57.9 kilograms. Latif Azim. And now the instructions for the two fighters. Okay, guys, I expect from you a clean fight. Obey my commands at all time and protect yourself at all time. I don't want to see punches lower than this. No kidney punches, no rabbit punches. Touch gloves. And this bout is for four rounds of boxing. Seconds out, round one. Promises uh, a very, very exciting bout. It looks like uh, uh, what we just saw, this is definitely going to be a good sequel to that. And of course, uh, Mujib Balao is the man in the white and uh, purple strip. And then, of course, uh, golden white strip is none other uh, than Latif Aziz. Wow. Good coming. Good combination they're coming from. The fighter from the blue corner. In case you are just joining us, ladies and gentlemen, it's a four-round national featherweight challenge between Latif Aziz and Mojid Agbolahon. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is sanctioned by the Nigerian Boxing Board of Control and it's brought to you by the Lads Boxing Promotion. We are live here at the Indoor Sports Hall of the National Stadium, Surulere Lagos, State, Nigeria. It is a national featherweight challenge. Mojid Agbolahon. Versus Latif Aziz. Good body movement, they're coming. 
good shot there. Indeed, power packed. These boxes are young and talented and gifted with all the strength to work with. And both boxes are sizing their, themselves up for the engagement of the gloves. And at the end of round one, ladies and gentlemen. The end of round one, nothing much has really been done, but I hope in the next round, a lot will be done. And because the fans are actually wanting to see some more firepower from these boxes, so it's the thing about Nigerians we want more, we feed us more, we want more. That's the round two of this bout, ladies and gentlemen. Coming in a few minutes. Latif Aziz versus Mujid Akbolahan. Four rounds national featherweight challenge between these two Nigerian professional boxers. Seconds out. Round Latif two. Aziz on white and gold boxing trunks. While Mujid Agbolahan is on blue and white boxing trunks. A good job coming. These boxers couldn't wait before they engage. And a good one coming. Good job. Good body shots from both boxers. Twin trades of punches. Twin barriers of punches at each other. With all the strength. Good show of boxing come from both boxers. Both boxes are still sizing. Well, I, we, expect, we expect more more and more from these boxes because both of them are actually young and talented and they still have the strength to, to fire on. So, actually, Nigerian boxing fans are expecting more, more and more to happen in this bout. Good one. Nice body move, nice headshot, nice head move there. Really explosive bouts we're seeing here. And I must say kudos to this young man talking about Mujib Balao, who's giving a good account of himself as well. He's not backing off. I like yeah, I, I like the fact that he knows his opponent is a bit confi confident and, and, and very aggressive, but he's staying in that fight. And even Aziz himself knows that he drops his guard, he's out. He's out. Out and because this young man is a very, very stubborn young man. And look at the way he protects himself. You see that? You see the exact thing I talked about? That was a, that, that was, that was a counter punch in there. And he almost sent him off his guards. All of a sudden, he's retreating. Because he's, he's, retreating, yes, he's retreating already because those punches are coming from nowhere. Wow. If only... If only Bala or Mujib can train his punches a bit more. That's it. I love this. That was no fluke. If, if, if only he can out. train his punches yes. a bit more, he would give this guy, he would give as he is a whole a run for his money. serious yes. run yes. for his money.
seconds out. Round three. I love this Berlin boy. I love the way he takes punches. Yes. And oh. it, it doesn't seem to be moved about it. Oh! That was serious counter punching there. And you can see those jabs coming in. If only he could train his punches better. If he had the same power of punches that Aziz Latif has, Latif would have, Latif would have struggled at this point in time. Yes, he would have. Both boxes are very strong and very durable. Nice. Wow, that's it. Wow. That's when you get too confident with yourself. He spun, he spun himself around there, and the referee had to tell him that is very dangerous. That was a very dangerous move. Yeah, because it could be cut from, from, from behind. Angle, yes, and. They're both clinched and, and and as he's, he's trying to pretend like he's not he's not the one holding and you arrested me while you're resting on your opponent. I, I'm really I'm really loving this Bolao boy. I love the way he's staying in the fight. He's got a big heart, I must say. He keep he has to be careful the way he throws his punches because most of his punches doesn't really land and he keep missing. And and as he uses a lot of his energy. To yes, throw one to throw punch. those punches. And it, if he misses, he runs himself in trouble a lot. I mean, look at the way he almost staggered out of the ring earlier. Nice one there, Tommy. Oh, lovely. Lovely counter punch in there coming from Mujib. And I think, um, I think Latif Aziz, Latif Aziz is also doing a good job ducking those punches. He's very, yeah. he's very, he's very smart, he's very he, slicky. He is smart, but I, I, I would prefer him being a bit more disciplined in his approach. Yes. Mm. He's getting too overexcited in himself. And it's, and it's now beginning to cost him. Look at that. He was almost going down there. Almost going down there. He had to come back up and quickly, you know, grab, grab hold of uh, Mujib. If only Mujib can take the decisive decision when the openings come, it will, it will be a, this fight will be a different ball game. Yes, I think so. Too. A good job, You see, you see the referee job. telling him once again, raise your head up. Yes, a good job by the referee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of round three, and we are moving on to round four. Um, round four on the way, ladies and gentlemen. The fourth and final round coming up between these two bright stars, the rising one for that Seconds matter. Out. Round four, the final round. It is round four, the final round, ladies and gentlemen. In case you're just joining us, it's about against Latif Aziz and Mojit Akbolahan. It's a national featherweight challenger and it's on the way. Round four, the final round. Latif Aziz on white and gold boxing trunks, while Mojid Agbalaho is on blue and white boxing trunks. That's a true punch coming from Mojid. Great stuff coming from both boxers. And you can see there that young man, Mojid Agbalaho, standing his ground once again. And as he's going for the jugular, and the referee calls for the break right now, saying that. Uh, Aziz uh, Latif has uh, used a bit of his elbow there, which is actually always a dangerous thing. But he gets caught once again by Mujib Bala, who protects himself very well. 
Oh, nice one there. Co co connecting. Two big punches there. He's tired. Both the boxers are tired, yes. Especially as his, his legs look a bit tired. You can see he's trying to shake it off. Good work good there, Mike. Good work there. I, just I think I like the movement of uh, Latif Aziz. He moves very beautifully. He does move very beautifully, but he gets in trouble every now and then. And he's been lucky. He's been very lucky that... Mujib does not have his, uh, the technicality that he has. He has, yes. If Mujib possesses the same kind of skills that Aziz has, I don't think this fight would be good. I think it probably would have been decided. Big punch there. And that's a rabbit punch, according to referee Van der Beer. And you can see once again, Latif Aziz tiring out. And that's what happens when you're a B2. Aggressive because aggressive, yes. your aggression you're, you're, alone takes a lot of power from you. That's it. All the energy used in the aggression. Explosive boxers are usually like that. When they come at you for the next 30, 40 seconds, keep throwing punches. By the time they, they've done throwing those punches, there's a good chance you can catch them on a way. Yes, just, just, just like the fight between Leko Muibi engine and Afonja Warrior. Yeah, the same that, thing happened to uh, yes. Muibi in that fight. Look at that. It <laughs> it is war indeed. Oh, lovely. Look. The turns are very beautiful. And it's the end of the round of the bout, ladies and gentlemen. It is the end of the bout. Let's see who takes the day when we hear from the judges. So we go to the ring announcer, Ralph Chidose George, who will give us uh, the verdict from the judges. Thank you very much. These two boxers have put up a fight here tonight and they deserve a round of applause. And after four rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. And Judge Abdul Wahab Martins scores it 37. 40 for Latif Aziz. George Tire on Life has scores it 38 38. A draw. And George Latif, George Shay George has scores it 39 37 for your winner by majority decision. Latif. Ah, zoo!